We're on the Modern Reef stand talking to Akil and he's showing us the Ion X, which is for your RO unit. And Akil, can you tell us more about this? Because we're quite excited. Hi, uh, this is uh, a new product that we developed with our, uh, of course, a lab, with Osmosis Lab. We, you know, we do Osmosis Lab and stuff. Yes. We see some issues that are hard to fix and they are not constant. You see houses, or quality in some houses that are not at the others. Uh, sometimes also the osmosis is not efficient enough to clean them and so on. So each, uh, each reefer needs different solution. So we created a two-part solution, which is A and B, as you can see here. Yep. This is a mixed sand bed, a resign bed, sorry, yep. for uh, the osmosis filter in the last stage, right? Yep. What it does is cleans all the impurities that the osmosis filter did not take out. But things can go differently from tank or from osmosis to osmosis filter or from zones to zone because the quality is not the same in each house. Yeah, and there's not some, one fix for everybody, yeah, is there? Exactly. There is something always left. Some zones have boron, yep. some zones have calcium or other, also even toxic stuff like uh, other materials that may come in the water. So sometimes uh, the solution is with only A can solve the problem. This yep. is an aquarium or reef aquarium grade, uh, name it that way, from premium one. Uh, mixed sand bed that will help remove excess left by the osmosis filter but if this doesn't do the job you can still add a laboratory grade in the second stage yeah okay so, so you go through your a first uh, presumably because the a is a little bit cheaper than the b exactly um, and we're trying to save that b from exactly. Ex being exhausted exactly so quickly. exactly so what happens here is you clean first with the a yep you soften the water for the b Okay. If you have to, so, but most cases A will do the job, but others when you have, for example, in my case, in my coral farm, I have uh, always boron inside the osmosis water. Yep. So we use this one and this one, but we use two A and one B because it's a big farm, so we need to... Yes, okay. To, uh, and you're preserving that B all the time. Uh, exactly. Ex so on you, these products, something that's sort of been coming back through the ICPs because you're, you're specializing in the RO as well, people are getting a zero TDS, but being quite shocked when they get readings back from ICP saying exactly. that there's actually elements in there that shouldn't be in there. Exactly, because um, they think uh, since my TDS is zero, my yep. osmosis should be clean, right? Yep. But the, the the thing is that the TDS reads PP, PPM. Yep, parts per million. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it, it, and also it's zero and not 0, 0.00, you yes. know? So they will not see under the one PPM a reading. Yep. See, and the osmosis reads also something to remember, micrograms per liter, most of them are micro, all of them are micrograms per liter. Okay. And so it's sometimes above one, uh, yep. sorry, uh, below one, and uh, that's why they, the TDS can't but even if it's even if it's 0.9, it's still going to read a zero. Exactly. Oh, but we're picking it up on the ICP, exactly. so this is a new side of it that I'm really excited about because if we can get this right, it makes everything else so much easier. Exactly. Um, it's to get mostly uh, what happens in my case, in my example, let's say, it, if I don't change this, uh, osmosis, when, when water evaporates, osmosis will come to the aquarium. Yep. When the water that you added new, We'll, we'll start accumulating boron. Boron is is absorbed very slow by corals, and it will start going up and up and yes. up. You know. Yep. Uh, something important to mention here: if you want to use B, you can't use it without A. It will be okay. saturated very fast. It takes uh, only the uh, low side of stuff. So you need to soften all always with A. Yep. Protect sometimes with 2A if you like, yep. then you have the B. So yep. this way it will so last the, longer. The, this is the polisher, this is the finisher. Exactly. That literally takes out absolutely exactly. everything. Exactly, but you don't use this alone. You yep. use it with this one. Now, if you want to use alone, you use IA alone once or yep. twice and that's okay. okay. So just in case people are wondering how long is this gonna last, what is the exhaustion rate on um, A and B? Uh, well, this is, uh, you can't determine this because it, from user to user, is different yep, different because CDS. it depends on the quality produced by the osmosis filter. Yep. If if it's uh, um, clean enough, then it can last longer. Yep. But if this have to work uh, too much to take them yes. out, then they will exhaust, of course. So yep. my recommendation is always 
try to uh, choose a very good osmosis filter so that this can do their job properly. Well, in some cases, I would recommend pre-filter, then pre-filter again. This is uh, something that we tried to, because there, there was a, a customer with very bad quality water, let's say, name it like this. So what he did is he used, let's name it, a uh, normal osmosis filter to filter first in a tank. Yep. Then he filters the osmosis back again with these guys and was completely zero again, everything. So he solved the yep. problem. But it's because uh, his case was severe, you know, it's yeah, uh, okay. very, yep. uh, water was very dirty, to yep. name it that way. But yes, this will depend on you, the quality produced by the osmosis filter. If if uh, the osmosis filter produces a 3 TDS or 2 TDS down in the out output, yep. then this may last longer. If it's more than 3 TDS, then uh, they may exhaust uh, faster. Yes. So this depends on the quality produced by the osmosis filter. Yep.